Welcome to the homework for Lesson 4. This is for Grade 2, Module 3. Write your name first, as always. Marcos, use the place value chart to count bundles. How many sticks does Marcos have in all? Well, here's two hundreds. And one, two, three, four, five. So let's just do it like this, actually. It looks like a place value chart. I'm just going to write the numbers here. Two hundreds, five tens, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he has 257 sticks. And we're going to write the number. That's a bundle of 100. So there's 100, and I don't see any tens or any ones. So that's 100. These are hundreds. If you put them together, which unit will you make? We almost don't even have to count them, really. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 10 hundreds. So that would get you to 9 hundreds would be 900. And then 10 hundreds isn't... 10 hundreds not really a number. But if you wrote it, you would think 10 hundred. And you'd have a 1,000 which is the unit you're going to make. Now, you know you can't make 10 because you're counting hundreds. You can't make a 10 with all those hundreds. And you have more than 100, so you, those are already made. And you're not making ones either. You can only, it can only be 1,000. Imagine 585 on the place value chart. How many ones, tens, and hundreds are in each place? Well, look at the number 585, and let's make a little... HTO chart above it. Right? Hundreds, tens, and ones. So how many ones do we have? There's five ones. And how many tens? There's eight tens. And there's five hundreds. It's kind of a backwards HTO chart. But we got to watch the units here. I know we live in a left-to-right world, and we're used to seeing 585 and just write... 585 and it would have worked out in this place in this case I mean it would have worked out but notice that they switched the ones in the hundreds and so if you got it either way you're lucky because they're both fives so it works fill in the blanks to make a true number sentence 12 ones equals a 10 and two ones and now show away this is so this is unit form for 12 1 10 2 ones Show a way to count from 170 to 410 using tens and hundreds. Circle at least one benchmark number. So the benchmark numbers are the ones where we change the units we're counting by. So for the 170, we can start with, we're going to start with tens. 180. 190. Then 200. So there's a benchmark number, because now we're going to start counting by hundreds. 300, 400, we're almost there. And now 410, and since we started counting by tens again, we can circle that and call it a benchmark number. Mrs. Sullivan's students are collecting cans for recycling. Frederick collected 20 cans. Danielle connect, collected 9 cans. And Mina and Charlie each collected 100 cans. How many cans did the students collect in all? So, here's Frederick. He had 20. Danielle had nine. Mina, oops, this hundred should look longer, but doesn't. And Charlie each with a hundred. So, and this is going to look just like the equation we're going to write. 20 plus nine plus hundred plus a hundred. Except it has labels. So that's sort of a graphic organizer.
from here to there, that's what we're going to try to figure out. How long is that all put together? It's easiest probably to put the hundreds together first. So if I do this, that's kind of like a number bond. And the 20 and the 9 go together to make 29. So we still have to add the 29 to the 200. 200. 29. They collected. Two hundred twenty-nine cans. Got to have the picture. Got to have a number sentence, and you got to have your answer statement. You got to have those all th all three of those things, and you got to have some way to show, like I did here, with the number bonds, how you put it together. <laughs>